Hey, so today I'm taking a walk with my friend Mandy and I wanted to take the opportunity to show you around Turtle Bay and Sundial Bridge. It's a attraction here in in Reading. It's in the city of Reading, so you don't have to venture off to a faraway place like my other blocks. Uh, all right, so here we go. As you walk in, uh, you will find the Turtle, that's Turtle Bay Museum over there. I'm not going to go through that today. Um, maybe another day. This is just basically a walkthrough. Maybe some other time I'll go through the museum. But over there is the museum, and then you have a cafe. It's a cafe, right? Can you get food? Yeah, I think you can. Food and uh, food? <laughs> I think wait what I think you could get food I know you can get candy but uh, here we go and that is information <laughs> I'll post the picture at the end on this trail you can go several different ways you can go that way that'll lead you out to I-5 and then you have to walk back <laughs> and then you can go over the bridge Here's some more information. Ooh, I gotta step to the side. Can I do this? I don't know if I can do this. Well, you're just gonna have to come here to read that one. <laughs> oh crap, I almost fell. So this is the Sundial Bridge. Uh, it lights up pink during Breast Awareness Week, or Breast Cancer Awareness. <laughs> breast Awareness. <laughs> I think we're all aware of that. But this is the Sundial Bridge. This is glass that you're walking on. First time I came on this, I was like, oh no, I'm not sure about all this. And then you can walk over there. And one time a year, believe it or not, one time a year, you will know the time from this sundial bridge. Just one time a year. You're, do you remember how much it costs to make this? <laughs> I wouldn't build, you know, you use that much money to tell time one time a year. That to me is what a waste of money. What time is that? A year. I don't know. That's good information. I didn't even know that. Well, Lewis, Lewis, Lewis knows all this stuff. My fact checker. And then over here, we got the Sacramento River, which we float down every year. It's fun. We start out up there, and then we go that way down to Anderson, California definitely not a, a child event because usually we're smashed of course we call uber but uh yeah this is the sundial bridge it's a good place to take pictures they come out beautiful we're coming up on the pointy thing I really need Lewis to tell me all this stuff. <laughs> this is the thing. What is it? <laughs> it's, it's really tall, as you can see. I'll come up to the side of it. And i look, see? Wow, it kind of looks like a guitar, huh? Not that that would be the song I would play, if it were. But what was that song you were just singing? That's off of that <laughs> Deliverance or whatever. But yeah, very cool. Has an arc right there. And then I'll take you under the bridge. And then there's the flower going. I don't think there's any flowers though. So maybe we can skip that one. But there is flowers that way during uh, spring if you are out here. And there's chairs. <laughs> yep, and the Italian ice cream guy is over there. So. thing is so tall. All the way down to there.
Mandy has brought to my attention that today <laughs> is National Taco Day. It is October 4th, and so if you know that it's Taco Day, let us know. Because if so, we're going to eat a bunch of tacos. We're going to eat a bunch of tacos. And even if it isn't, we're still going to, but. Yeah, we love tacos. But also, she heard it was Vodka Day. I just want to know can we trade that with tequila? I'd be better off with that. <laughs> Vodka's kind of stinky, even though it's the skinny girl diet drink, I guess. But I don't drink that. But anyways, let us know if October 4th is the national day for vodka and tacos. Because if so, next year I'm going to plan a vodka taco party. <laughs> All right. We're coming down underneath the bridge. Have you ever been here, Mandy? Like underneath the bridge? No? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. So... Oh yeah, I have. Yeah? So, underneath here, you can hold events and whatnot. I always thought that this would be really pretty for uh, an evening wedding. Of course, because of the lights underneath the bridge. Oh, every night the, they have lights, but the breast cancer awareness is pink. So, and then we got some more information for you. Of course, it'll be at the end of the video. There's the bridge. It's a nice little stroll. And you know what? Is this an amp? I don't know. Amphitheater? Huh? It looks like you should have like an orchestra or something going on here. But yeah, very pretty. Spent a lot of money. Redding, Redding spent a lot of money on this. It's our river. Good fishing. So we're going over Sulphur Creek, but it doesn't stink or anything. So. I wonder why it's called Sulphur Creek. I bet you Lewis knows. This is Sulphur Creek. We're going to do the loop here, which is two miles. Okay. I believe it's two miles. I always congratulate myself with two miles. So, all right, we'll do a little bit back there. Not much, because it's just woods. But it's a good walk. Bird collar here that you can... Welcome to Reading, where people steal bird collars. There used to be a thing there that you would like watch, go like that, and then it would make the bird sound. And that you can't even read that, so I'm not going to take a picture of that. But we're back on the trail, and this trail leads right on the side of Hilltop in Reading. And like I said, it's all just just for us, nice little nature walk. I want to hear the birds and watch the bees. All right, so we're ending our walk. It was two and a half miles. It was spray painted on the ground, but it was a good walk. There's some, it's moderate hills. It's nothing like we've been on before, but it's a good little walk for to get your heart rate up and catch up on your current events with your friends and your local events with your friends and your social events with your friends. <laughs> so, if you get the opportunity, come on out here. If you don't live in the Reading area, uh, this is just another thing that you can do for free with your family. Uh, so, we're going to end this and go get some tacos. Bye, Bye. Bye.